Du Luo. Succubus at the beginning, Bibi Dong was ruined. Chapter 1. The Inner Area of the Star Forest. Under an unusually lush tree, there lay a petite child. The scattered moonlight shines on him through the branches. Through this scattered moonlight, you can see that this child is only about four or five years old. This child has a pretty face and some baby fat on his face. But at this time, the child's eyes were closed tightly, with a frightened expression on his face, and his head was covered with sweat, as if he had dreamed of something terrible. In the center of the star doe forest, a huge soul beast's roar suddenly sounded, and the sound contained unwillingness and despair. This huge sound alerted all the other large and small spirit beasts nearby that were resting or hunting. The soul beasts all started to move away from that position and ran wildly in all directions. The panic on the face of the child under the big tree reached an extreme at this time. He suddenly opened his eyes and sat up. Su Mu gasped for air and looked at the surrounding environment with sweat on his face, and there was still some disbelief in his eyes. He has traveled through time. He turned out to be a good young man on the blue star, because he was reading, spring and autumn, at home today, and then at the critical moment, for some reason, his blood vessels became congested and he died suddenly. Unexpectedly, he woke up in a daze, traveled directly to another world, and turned into a child. Just when Su Mu was dreaming of dominating this new world and collecting all the beauties, a dark shadow broke his fantasy. A black shadow suddenly jumped up the big tree. Su Mu took a closer look and saw that it was a wind ape less than one meter tall. The gale ape is covered in black hair, his eyes are gleaming fiercely, and his arms are hanging on both sides of his body, with sharp nails. At this time, Gale Ape's eyes were fixed on the child under the tree, and tears of disappointment flowed from the corner of his mouth. However, Gale Ape did not act immediately. Instead, his eyes rolled around and looked around. Su Mu just sat on the ground, not daring to make any reaction. After waiting for more than ten minutes, seeing that no accident had happened, Gale Ape couldn't wait any longer and jumped off the branch directly and rushed towards Su Mu. The Gale Ape's saliva had already dripped onto Su Mu's face, and Su Mu sat there blankly. All this happened so fast that Su Mu didn't even react. He saw a bloody mouth getting closer and closer to him. Su Mu subconsciously turned over and rolled to the other side, avoiding the attack. When the Gale Ape saw this little man running away, he suddenly became angry and released his skill, wind blade directly in the direction of Su Mu. Su Mu was still lying on the ground when he saw several wind blades flying towards him with the sound of breaking wind. Su Mu looked at her very petite body with despair on her face. No matter how hard she looked, she couldn't beat the opponent. Su Mu simply gave up struggling and lay on the ground, looking at the night sky. She didn't expect that she would die just after traveling through time. She wouldn't be the most frustrated traveler. Su Mu thought that she hadn't taken a good look at this world. She still didn't know which world it was, and she hadn't been with anyone yet. Looking at the wind blade getting closer and closer to her, she couldn't help shouting. My life is at stake. After saying that, Su Mu closed her eyes. After a while, Su Mu felt no pain in her body and opened her eyes uncertainly. As soon as he opened his eyes, Su Mu saw a figure standing in front of him. Because of the light and angle, Su Mu couldn't see the specific situation of the black figure, but he could tell from the back that it was a woman. Su Mu next saw a halo of light lighting up on the woman's body, one, two, three. Su Mu counted and found that there were eight apertures. Then, there was nothing more, Su Mu fainted directly. Su Mu's last thought before she fell into coma was, why does this aperture look so much like a soul ring in a novel? Comma, in a coma, Su Mu felt some strange sounds ringing in his ears. Ding, it is detected that everything in the host meets the requirements, and the system is being bound. Ding, binding successful, succubus system is at your service. When Su Mu woke up slowly, before opening her eyes, the first thing she felt was the soft and gorgeous bed. Su Mu felt like she was lying on the clouds, and had an extremely comfortable feeling. When Su Mu slowly opened her eyes, she found herself in a magnificent room. The walls of the surrounding rooms are covered in exquisite tiles painted with colorful patterns. Huge curtains hang in front of the windows, and the thick fabrics are embroidered with exquisite patterns. 
The sunlight shining through the curtains fills the entire room with a mysterious and gorgeous atmosphere, and also indicates that it is daytime. Before Su Mu could continue to observe the surrounding environment, he heard footsteps. Da da da! After a sound of footsteps, a person walked up to Su Mu. Su Mu looked up and was stunned. I saw that the person who came was wearing a Chong Song, tall and curvy, with plump and straight breasts, slender and straight legs, fair and smooth skin, exuding an alluring luster. Because Su Mu was lying down and had not yet sat up, the visitor walked directly in front of Su Mu. Su Mu could now feel the greatness of his mind. Just when Su Mu was in a daze, a clear and sweet voice sounded in Su Mu's ears. Little brother, why are you in such a dangerous place? This voice woke up Su Mu. Su Mu said in a milky voice. I, I don't know either. Bibi Dong watched Su Mu lower his head with an innocent look on his face, a smile on his face, and continued to ask. Then do you still remember your original home address? Su Mu shook his head. I only remember my name. My name is Su Mu. Bibi Dong looked at Su Mu's shaking face, her flesh trembling more obviously, and she looked extremely cute. Bibi Dong felt like she couldn't bear it any longer and couldn't help but tighten her legs. Bibi Dong herself didn't know why she was so abnormal. Originally, Bibi Dong just saved Su Mu yesterday. But when Bibi Dong brought Su Mu back to Wuhun Hall, he accidentally glanced at Su Mu, and his mentality changed unconsciously. By some strange combination of circumstances, Su Mu was brought back to his room, where he personally wiped Su Mu's body and changed into clothes. Bibi Dong looked at Su Mu's cute and dazed look, and then looked at Su Mu's chubby little face, and Bibi Dong had a strong urge to kiss her. Bibi Dong's neck moved slightly and she secretly swallowed a mouthful of saliva. His body unconsciously moved closer to Su Mu. Bibi Dong approached Su Mu without Su Mu noticing. Bibi Dong looked closely at Su Mu's delicate little face and her big eyes that kept blinking. Bibi Dong only felt her heart beating harder, and a bold idea appeared in her mind. However, soon, Bibi Dong shook her head hard, how could she think like this? Su Mu was still a child. A blush rose on Bibi Dong's face, making her look even more beautiful. Bibi Dong pretended to calm down, looked at Su Mu, and spoke with a slightly trembling voice. In this case, why don't you stay here first? My name is Bibi Dong. Su Mu lowered his head and raised it up. His eyes widened and he was stunned. His face was so full of surprise that he couldn't even hear what Bibi Dong said clearly. Bibi Dong. It's actually Bibi Dong. In this case, this should be Duluo Continent. If that's the case, then I should have a chance to see other characters. Bibi Dong, Qian Runshui, Ning Rongrong, Xiao Wu. Thinking this, Su Mu laughed unconsciously. Bibi Dong saw Su Mu's expression suddenly dull, and then laughed strangely, and immediately stepped forward worriedly. A jade hand was raised and placed towards Su Mu's forehead, and at the same time he spoke with a worried tone. Xiao Mu, what's wrong with you? Are you feeling uncomfortable somewhere? As she said that, Bibi Dong's hand touched Su Emu's forehead, and both of them were stunned. Bibi Dong felt as if an electric current was passing through her body, her face became even more rosy, her legs became weak, and she couldn't help but tighten them, and she couldn't help exhaling hot breath from her mouth. He looked at Su Mu with somewhat blurred eyes. Su Mu didn't have any strange reaction, but he suddenly remembered a very charming voice. Ding! The host successfully contacts Bibi Dong, and the magic value is increased by one. Su Mu was stunned by this voice. When the system was bound yesterday, Su Mu was not awake. When she woke up this morning, she didn't check, so she was stunned. What the hell, system? Host, I am here. Just when Su Mu was going to continue asking the system for some specific information. Suddenly feeling the heat coming from her face, Su Mu looked up and saw that Bibi Dong's head had lowered and was only a few centimeters away from her. So much so that the hot breath Bibi Dong breathed hit her face. Su Mu's cheeks suddenly turned red at a speed visible to the naked eye, and her eyes stared at Bibi Dong's delicate face with some confusion. Bibi Dong's eyes were blurred at this moment, and her body unconsciously moved closer to Su Mu. Just when she was about to touch him, Bibi Dong suddenly woke up. Bibi Dong. What are you doing? Su Mu is still a child. 
How could you have such dirty thoughts? Bibi Dong kept scolding herself in her heart. But his eyes were fixed on Su Emu's red lips and white teeth, and there was another urge in his heart to kiss her. But Bibi Dong still had the ability to control herself, so she took the initiative to distance herself. Su Mu looked at Bibi Dong with some confusion, wondering why her behavior was so abnormal. This was another powerful bomb for Bibi Dong. Bibi Dong looked at Su Emu's doubtful eyes and felt that her heart was about to melt. How could she be so cute? No, no, I can't bear it anymore. It was too late to say that, but soon, Su Mu was still in a state of confusion when she felt that her face was touched by something, soft and cool, as if something else licked her face, it feels itchy. Su Mu just stayed there, eyes wide open, looking at Bibi Dong in disbelief. Bibi Dong looked at the dumbfounded Su Mu and couldn't help but laugh out loud. How could he be so cute? It was really fun. Bibi Dong stretched out her hand and pinched Su Emu's face, then said with a bright smile. It's so cute, sister can't help but want to stay with you every day. Speaking of this, the smile on Bibi Dong's face suddenly fell, and she sighed. Hey, my master has been super urging me to practice these days. I probably don't have time during the day. But it doesn't matter, I can sleep with you in my arms at night. Just be good here during the day. After Bibi Dong finished speaking, she raised her feet and left the room, leaving Su Mu sitting there alone and messy. Su Mu listened to the footsteps getting farther and farther until they disappeared completely, and then she gradually came back to her senses. Su Emu's face gradually turned red, and finally turned like a red apple. Her fleshy little face and small earlobes turned red. It's hard not to wonder if Bibi Dong would have been unable to bear it again if she hadn't left. Su Emu's face was red, obviously she hadn't gotten over the situation of being kissed by Bibi Dong just now. Su Mu hammered the soft bed with his little hand, and then fell straight down on the big bed that was disproportionate to his body. After a long time, Su Mu gradually calmed down her mood. After all, as a hard-working student gangster in her previous life, Su Mu had never had such close contact with a girl. After Su Mu calmed down, he began to check the system. Host. Su Mu. Sex. Male. Age. 5 years old. Magic level. 0. Magic value. 5 one hundredths. Physique. Succubus body. Succubus body. A special physique. People with this physique will unconsciously attract the opposite sex around them, and with continuous contact with you, they will gradually become obsessed with you, and finally can't live without you. Martial spirit. Unawakened. Backpack. Novice gift pack times one. Golden gift pack times one. Su Mu gradually understood the situation while watching the system's explanation, and also understood why BB Dong's behavior was so abnormal. After communicating with the system for a while, Su Mu basically understood what he wanted to know. When in contact with the opposite sex, Su Mu will gain magic points, just like experience points. When you reach a certain magic value, your magic level will be upgraded. After upgrading, the range and intensity of Su Mu Hui's succubus body will be greatly improved, and his physical fitness will also be improved. In addition, every time you upgrade, you will gain an additional ability. So Su Mu thought that she should spend more time with the opposite sex and get rewards, which was really wonderful. Next, it's time to open the gift pack. According to the system's explanation, Su Mu also knew the origin of the two gift bags in the backpack. As the name suggests, the novice gift package is a gift package given by the system. As for the other gift package, it was the reward Su Mu received for her first, close contact, with BB Dong. Every time he has, intimate contact, with a member of the opposite sex, Su Mu will receive gift packages of different levels rewarded by the system. The level of the gift pack is determined by the level of the opposite sex Su Mu comes into contact with. The system will divide the opposite sex into five levels based on various factors such as appearance, figure, personality, status, etc. From low to high, the five levels are white, blue, purple, gold, and red. According to this level, gift bags of corresponding levels are distributed to Su Mu. The system determined that Bibi Dong belonged to the second category, so Su Mu received a golden gift bag. Su Mu. Open the gift bag. Ding. 
The novice gift package has been opened successfully. Congratulations to the host for obtaining three random teleportation symbols and a titled Duluo experience card. Ding! The golden gift package has been opened successfully. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the martial spirit. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the martial soul, Xuanyuan sword. Su Yu was stunned when he heard the voice in his ear. Xuanyuan sword. That was Xuanyuan sword, the legendary magic weapon. At the same time, Su Yu found that his host panel had also changed. The martial soul changed from unawakened to Xuanyuan sword. The gift bags in the backpack were gone, replaced by three yellowed paper talismans and a white card. Su Yu knew that this was the random teleportation talisman and the title Duluo experience card he had just opened the gift bag. Su Yu immediately asked the system excitedly whether he could summon the martial soul that had not yet awakened. After all, he was only five years old and had not yet awakened his martial soul. After a while of explanation from the system, Su Yu knew his current situation. He was now in a state of awakening but not fully awakening. Su Yu learned from the system that he could now summon his martial soul, but he had no soul power. It was equivalent to awakening half of himself, with only martial soul and no soul power. The system didn't know why specifically. Su Yu didn't pay too much attention to it. Instead, he looked around, went downstairs and closed the door and then excitedly began to summon his newly awakened martial spirit. Su Yu stretched out his left hand, and a dazzling white light flashed. After the white light disappeared, a sword appeared in Su Yu's hand. Su Yu was holding the center of the scabbard in his hand. The length of the sword body is estimated to be 1.2 meters, and the width is about 18 centimeters. The hilt occupies a quarter of the length of the entire sword body. The dark yellow scabbard looks very simple in style. A baby's fist-sized gem is inlaid at the junction of the hilt and the sword body, emitting a faint dark yellow light. I don't know what the material of the scabbard is, but it looks safe and heavy. But I don't know if it's because of Su Emu's awakened martial spirit, Su Mu didn't feel much weight. Su Mu stretched out his right hand, slowly touched the Xuanyuan sword, then held the hilt tightly with his right hand and pulled it out suddenly. When Su Mu slowly drew the sword, everything around him seemed to freeze. The silent wind blew Su Emu's hair through the window, and also made the tassels on the scabbard sway gently. Su Emu's hand held the hilt of the sword, feeling the cold touch of the sword. His fingers tightly clasped the hilt, as if he had merged with the sword. At that moment, Su Mu seemed to feel that he and the sword in his hand had a sense of harmony. Su Emu's eyes were firm and focused, staring at the sword in his hand. Then he slowly exerted force. As Su Emu's hand slowly lifted the hilt of the sword, the sword body separated from the scabbard, making a slight metal friction sound. Clang! The sword body was completely pulled out by Su Mu, and the morning light of the sunrise cast through the window onto the sword body, and the blade was now shining with a slight cold light. Su Mu moved his left hand, and the scabbard in his hand disappeared directly. This is also Su Emu's ability. Xuanyuan's sword is his martial soul, including the sword body and scabbard, so Su Mu can control and summon only a part. After putting away the scabbard, Su Mu held the hilt of the sword with his right hand, and began to gently stroke the sword body with his left hand. While stroking it, Su Mu was also slowly looking at this ancient artifact. The sword body also glowed with a light yellow light, and the overall sense of low-key luxury was present. Looking at the sword body again, the sun, moon, stars and mountains and rivers were engraved on one side of the sword body, and the grass and trees were engraved on the other side. The hilt was inscribed with the art of farming and animal husbandry on one side, and the strategy of unifying the world on the other side. At the root of the sword, two characters were engraved in seal script. Although Su Mu did not recognize these two characters, he was very sure in his mind that these two characters were, Xuanyuan. How cheap! Pa! What a good sword! Su Mu could not help but exclaimed. Su Mu looked at the Xuanyuan sword in his hand, and his eyes could not help showing surprise. It was indeed an ancient artifact. According to the legend of Su Mu's previous life, the Xuanyuan sword, the legendary divine weapon, was also known as the Xuanyuan Shayu sword. It was cast by the gods for Wangdi with copper from Shushan, and later passed on to Shayu. 
it can be said that the Xuanyuan sword is a sword of the Holy Way and a sword of the Emperor. At this moment, the system's voice sounded in Su Emu's ears again, the system reminds the host that due to the host's unexpected arrival, the time and space of the Duluo continent world have changed, which has caused some timelines and plot confusion. I hope the host will be careful to survive. Just as Su Mu was admiring the Xuanyuan sword, footsteps sounded outside the room. Su Mu directly put away his martial soul and pretended that nothing had happened and lay on the bed. Squeak. The door opened. Su Mu lay on the bed, tilted his head, and looked at the door. The first thing that caught Su Emu's eyes was a pair of jade feet that could be said to be almost perfect. The visitor was wearing a pair of sandals, so Su Mu could see the full picture of the jade feet. The pair of jade feet were as delicate as buds, and the skin was crystal clear, as if you could see the blood vessels underneath through the skin. The nails were trimmed very neatly, with a faint pink color, and each nail was as delicate as a carefully carved gem. The curve of the jade foot was very perfect, with a slight concave at the ankle, exuding infinite softness, like a beautiful painting. When you look up, you will see a pair of white and thin legs, which are exposed to the air without any clothes. The lines are smooth and elegant, and the skin is as smooth as silk. The curve of the waist is smooth and powerful, and the slightly thin waist outlines a perfect curve, adding a graceful demeanor to the whole body. Her upper body showed elegant female curves, and her chest was slightly raised, showing signs of imminent development. Her neck was slender, her skin was white as snow, and a string of exquisite necklaces dotted it. Finally, Su Emu's eyes fell on the face of the visitor. It didn't matter if he saw it this way, Su Mu was stunned. Her facial features were delicate and bright. Her big eyes were as clear as spring water, and her pupils were deep, as if they contained endless wisdom. Her long eyelashes trembled slightly up and down when she blinked, adding a bit of beauty to her. Her eyebrows were long and neat, making her look a little serious. Her skin was white and smooth, revealing the vitality of youth. The immaturity on her face that had not yet completely disappeared also showed that the visitor was not old. When she fully entered the room, Su Mu also saw her full appearance. Seeing the full appearance of the visitor, Su Mu inexplicably recalled a line of poetry from his previous life, and he said it unconsciously. Hands like soft catkins, skin like solidified fat, neck like a cicada, teeth like gourds, and eyebrows like moths. The visitor had a serious face and seemed reluctant to come, but when he heard what Su Mu said, he smiled a little embarrassedly. Su Mu looked at that charming smile and couldn't help but be stunned. The visitor walked to Su Emu's bed and couldn't help laughing again when he saw Su Emu's stunned look. I didn't expect that this idiot was not only so cute, but also so fun, but those two sentences just now. When the girl thought of Su Emu's two sentences just now, her pretty face blushed, but she returned to normal after a moment. The girl stretched out her right hand and said to Su Mu. Hello, my name is Qian Runshui, and my senior sister asked me to take care of you. When Su Mu heard Qian Runshui's words, she was startled and her eyes widened in disbelief. Qian Runshui looked at Su Emu's wide-eyed expression and felt that Su Mu was even cuter. Her heart moved and she stretched out her hand to rub Su Emu's cheek. What's wrong? Do you know me? Su Mu also reacted at this time and asked somewhat urgently. Who is your senior sister? Although Qian Runshui was a little confused, she still answered Su Emu's question. My senior sister, Bibi Dong, she is my father's apprentice, so I call her senior sister. What's wrong? Is there any problem? Su Mu became even more confused. Could it be that Qian Zunji had already attacked Bibi Dong at this time? But something was wrong. I also met Bibi Dong and felt that she hadn't turned dark yet. Moreover, Qian Runshui's age must be at least 10 years old, and she saw Bibi Dong's soul ring yesterday. If she read it correctly, Bibi Dong should be a contra now. Su Mu held back the doubts in her heart and looked at Qian Runshui with the last glimmer of hope. So Sister Shui, who is your mother? Qian Runshui was still admiring Su Emu's eyes, but suddenly she heard Su Emu's question, and her bright eyes suddenly dimmed. Su Mu also noticed something strange about Qian Runshui and was wondering if she had said the wrong thing. Well, Sister Shui, what's wrong with you? I didn't mean it. Unexpectedly, Qian Runshui was silent for a while, her voice was a little low. 
When my mother gave birth to me, she had a difficult delivery and died. When Su Miu heard this, she breathed a sigh of relief. Since Qian Runshui said that her mother was dead, it meant that her mother was not Bibi Dong. This also means that Qian Zunji has not yet taken action against Bibi Dong. Su Miu quickly asked the system what was going on. Host, this world comes from a certain novel world, but due to the arrival of the host, the timeline has been staggered, and some things have changed as a result. Su Miu finally understood that due to his unexpected arrival in the Duluo world, there were some changes in this world and the original plot in the book. After thinking about this, Su Miu breathed a sigh of relief temporarily, and the big stone in his heart fell. Su Miu raised her head and looked at Qian Runshui, who was happy just now but now lowered her head and was secretly sad. She felt a little uncomfortable in her heart. After all, it was her fault. So Su Miu stretched out her little hand, took Qian Runshui's jade hand, shook Qian Runshui's arm, and said coquettishly, Sister Ren Shui, don't be sad. Why don't you take me out for a walk? I don't know where this is yet. When Qian Runshui heard Su Emu's coquettish words and the little hands in her palms, her heart almost melted, and her sadness was suppressed a bit. Okay, it's all up to you. Let's go then. I'll take you to see our spirit hall. With that said, Qian Runshui helped Su Miu get dressed, held his little hand, and walked out of the room. There were two rows of maids lined up neatly on both sides of the door. When they saw Qian Runshui and Su Miu coming out, they all knelt down and saluted. Meet Miss. Qian Runshui said nothing and led Su Miu out. Qian Runshui first led Su Miu to the restaurant and had breakfast with Su Miu. As for the types of breakfast, it was really an eye opener for Su Miu. I can only say that it is worthy of the Wuhun Palace and is luxurious enough. After breakfast, Qian Runshui led Su Miu to visit the Spirit Hall. Various exquisite scenes and beautiful scenery allowed Su Miu to truly see the strength of Wuhun Palace. Finally, Qian Runshui led Su Miu to a small garden. There are flowers and grass here, and Qian Runshui is sitting on the grass, holding her knees with her hands. Looking into the distance, he was a little lost in thought. Su Miu sat next to Qian Runshui and looked at Qian Runshui without making a sound. After a while, Qian Runshui took the initiative to speak. Little Su Miu, you know, I haven't been very happy since I was a child. My father is very busy every day, busy dealing with things, and he almost doesn't care about me. Su Miu sat aside and didn't speak. He just held Qian Runshui's jade hand. He knew that at this time, all he needed to do was listen. Qian Runshui felt her hand being held, and did not struggle. Instead, she held Su Emu's hand tightly and continued talking to herself. Actually, I understand him. I know that he is the Pope and he is very busy, and I understand that. But in my heart, I still hope that he can pay more attention to me. As he said that, Qian Runshui's eyes turned a little red. Su Miu opened his arms and smiled at Qian Runshui. The sun shines through the leaves and shines on Su Emu's body. Qian Runshui raised her head and looked at Su Emu's petite body. Under the sunlight, it seemed to be very huge. Qian Runshui still couldn't hold it back after all. He stepped forward and hugged Su Miu, tears streaming from his eyes. Su Miu felt the trembling of Qian Runshui's delicate body, sighed, stretched out her hand and patted her back. Qian Runshui said firmly in her ear, Sister Qian Runshui, don't worry, I will be with you from now on. Qian Runshui tilted her head and looked at Su Emu's cute and delicate cheeks and eyes full of spiritual energy. She was very determined at this time. Qian Runshui felt her heart tremble violently and her ears turned red. Qian Runshui buried her entire face on Su Emu's shoulder, not looking at Su Miu. But there was still a slight sound that reached Su Emu's ears. Good. After a long time, Qian Runshui let go of Su Miu. Qian Runshui looked at Su Emu's helpless look and burst into laughter. When Su Miu saw Qian Runshui laughing, she felt relieved and breathed a sigh of relief. Qian Runshui saw that Su Emu's clothes were already wet. She stood up and pulled Su Miu out. Su Miu looked confused. Qian Runshui saw this and explained. Look, your clothes are all wet. Come on, I'll take you back to change. Only then did Su Miu react and said jokingly. Huh, it wasn't a woman who did it. It's so wet. 
How are you going to compensate me? Qian Runshui held Su Emu's little hand and walked in front. Unexpectedly, Su Mu suddenly said such a sentence. He is really a kid. Qian Runshui thought in her heart, but she asked curiously. Then what reward do you want? Su Mu blinked his big eyes, and then said. I don't know, let's just owe it to you now. We'll talk about it later when we think about it. Qian Runshui only thinks that little Su Mu is very interesting. Okay, okay, I'll listen to you. Come on, I'll take you to change clothes. This time the two returned to Qian Runshui's room. Su Mu found that this room was very different from Bibi Dong's room, mainly in terms of style. Qian Runshui's room is mainly pink and full of girlish feeling. Qian Runshui stayed in the living room and let Su Mu go into the bedroom to change clothes. Su Mu walked into the bedroom and after taking off her clothes, she discovered a serious problem. Qian Runshui didn't prepare any clothes for him. In desperation, Su Mu sat directly on the bed, wrapped herself in a quilt, and called Qian Runshui to come in. Qian Runshui opened the door and saw Su Emu's tiny body, huddled under the quilt, with only one head exposed, and his big eyes looking at her innocently. Qian Runshui looked at Su Emu's pitiful appearance, covered her mouth and laughed. At this moment, Qian Runshui's door was opened from the outside, accompanied by Bibi Dong's voice. Shui, are you in the room? I heard from my servant that you and more came back from outside. As the door opened and Bibi Dong's voice sounded, both Qian Runshui and Su Emu's eyes widened. At this moment, Qian Runshui wanted to lock the door, but it was too late. Bibi Dong opened the door directly and walked in. Then Bibi Dong saw an astonishing scene in front of him. Qian Runshui stood in front of the bedroom door and looked at herself. The bedroom door was open. Looking inside through the bedroom door, one could see Su Mu lying on the bed, covered with Qian Runshui's quilt, which was not tight enough. Only her head was exposed, with an innocent expression on her face. There were small pieces of clothing scattered on the ground around them, and they looked like Su Emu's. Bibi Dong was furious in an instant. He looked at Qian Runshui angrily and said word by word, Shui, how could you do this? Su Mu, he is still a child. How could you do such a thing to Su Mu? Qian Runshui was suddenly confused, huh? What is senior sister saying? What did I do to Su Mu? Didn't he accidentally get Su Emu's clothes wet and forget to change clothes for him? Why does it feel like senior sister is so angry? It's as if she has done something heinous to Su Mu. Before Qian Runshui could react, Bibi Dong rushed in quickly, not forgetting to lock the door. Bibi Dong rushed to the bedside and looked at Su Emu's exposed little head in her innocent eyes, feeling that her heart was going to hurt to death. At the same time, Bibi Dong still felt a little guilty. After all, she asked Qian Runshui to help take care of Su Mu. She didn't expect Qian Runshui to do such a thing, uh. Feeling guilty, Bibi Dong opened her arms and embraced Su Mu, who was full of innocence and a little confused. Well, Su Mu only felt that her vision went dark, and then she had difficulty breathing. Her face seemed to be stuck in a ball of cotton, which was very soft, but she could not struggle out. It felt like I was struggling in a surging wave. The more I struggled, the more powerless I felt. Ding, if the host is detected to be in close contact with Bibi Dong, the magic value will be increased by 5. Magic value plus 1, comma, a series of system prompts rang in Su Emu's ears. This frequency is very dense, much higher than when I was with Qian Runshui today. When I was with Qian Runshui today, there were two rings when I started holding hands, and a few more rings when Qian Runshui lay on my shoulders and hugged me. There wasn't even a gift package. Su Mu asked the system, and the system said that the level of close contact between him and Qian Runshui did not meet the system's standards for issuing gift packages. The waves are rough, airtight. As time passed, Su Mu felt that she was out of breath. Although the magic value was important, her life was more important. So, Su Mu raised her small hands and patted Bibi Dong on the back, while making a woo 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 sound from her mouth. Su Mu took such a shot, and the originally silent sea surface suddenly became rough and the waves rolled. However, Bibi Dong also realized something and let go of the arm holding Su Mu. Su Mu finally breathed freedom and fresh air again. 
Bibi Dong also reacted at this time. She was a little too excited just now. Thinking about her actions just now, her face turned red. Bibi Dong looked at Su Miu who was sitting on the bed with her face flushed and breathing in fresh air. She felt even more guilty, so she bent down and asked with great concern. Xiao Mumu, are you okay? I was too excited just now. Su Miu took two more big breaths of fresh air before speaking. It's okay. It's just a little too boring. As he said that, Su Miu slowly raised his head and unexpectedly saw the culprit who almost suffocated him to death. What caught the eye were two huge snow-capped mountains. Su Emu's first feeling was that they were white, and the second feeling was that they were big. Su Miu swallowed secretly and shifted her gaze to the side. Bibi Dong also gradually calmed down at this time. Since what happened has happened, it is better to think about how to make up for Su Miu. With this thought in mind, Bibi Dong sat next to Su Miu and said, Xiao Mumu, I know that today's incident must have brought some shadow to you. Listening to Bibi Dong's words, Su Miu thought she was talking about how she used a murder weapon to kill herself just now. She couldn't help but pursed her lips and nodded. But what Su Miu was thinking was, what would it matter if it happened again? Bibi Dong was still a little undecided at first. After all, Qian Runshui was her master's daughter, but now looking at Su Emu's nodding little head, Bibi Dong directly strengthened her determination. Little Mumu, don't worry, I will let Qian Runshui give you an explanation for this matter. Uh -huh, ah ha, ah, Su Miu thought it was normal when she first heard it, but she always felt like something was wrong. Qian Runshui, what does this matter have to do with Qian Runshui? Why does Qian Runshui have to explain to me? Su Miu looked at Bibi Dong's delicate face with a big question mark on her face. At this time, Qian Runshui also didn't understand very much. She just felt that her senior sister had been very abnormal since she entered the door just now. First, he hugged Su Miu directly, and then asked himself to give Su Miu an explanation. Qian Runshui walked over directly, looked at Bibi Dong, and asked with some confusion. Senior sister, what are you talking about? What explanation? Why should I explain to Xiao Miu? Bibi Dong thought Qian Runshui still knew her mistakes and refused to correct them, so she was very angry and said coldly. Shui, haven't you realized your mistake yet? You actually did that to Su Miu. What do you want me to say to you? You're really hungry. Qian Runshui became even more confused after hearing this. What on earth did I do to make my senior sister so angry? Qian Runshui asked cautiously, Senior sister, what on earth are you talking about? Qian Runshui saw Bibi Dong's expression getting even worse, and she also lost her temper, and said directly, Senior sister, I admit that it was my fault that I wet Su Emu's clothes, but this won't make you so angry. Bibi Dong didn't listen to the rest of the words at all. I wet Su Emu's clothes, kept echoing in her ears. Bibi Dong understood immediately that things were not what she thought. But Bibi Dong still spoke with some uncertainty. So, Su Emu's clothes are just wet. Are you going to change clothes here? With that said, Bibi Dong pointed at the clothes thrown to the ground by Su Miu. Qian Runshui rolled her eyes and asked, Otherwise, senior sister, what do you think I did? After saying this, Qian Runshui seemed to have thought of something, her eyes suddenly widened. She looked at Bibi Dong in disbelief, and she was about to open her mouth to speak. Sister, you don't think. Bibi Dong looked at Qian Runshui's reaction and knew that she must have guessed what she was thinking just now. But in this environment, with little Su Miu lying on the bed next to him, how could he say it to his face? A flash of panic flashed in Bibi Dong's eyes, but she quickly restrained it. As soon as she said it, Bibi Dong stood up stretched out her hand, and covered Qian Runshui's mouth. At the same time, Bibi Dong raised her eyebrows, glanced in Su Emu's direction, and then looked outside, signaling the two of them to go out and talk. Qian Runshui was also a smart person. She immediately understood what Bibi Dong meant and nodded immediately. After getting Qian Runshui's reply, Bibi Dong put down her hand, then pulled Qian Runshui outside, while saying something to Su Muluo. Xiao Mumu, please stay here for a while. Qian Runshui doesn't have any clothes for you here. Let's go find a set of clothes for you. Su Miu nodded obediently. Just like that, 
Bibi Dong pulled Qian Runshui out of the room. Qian Runshui calmed down now and was not anxious at all. On the contrary, Bibi Dong was a little embarrassed and anxious. Bibi Dong took Qian Runshui back to her room and locked the door. Qian Runshui just let her be pulled into the room. Qian Runshui was also thinking constantly along the way, and probably figured out the reason why Bibi Dong was abnormal before. She must have thought that I did that kind of thing to Brother Su Miu. It was really abominable. Brother Su Miu was so cute, how could she have the heart to do that kind of thing? But since this time, the fault lies with the senior sister, why not seize the opportunity and trick her? After all, Brother Su Miu is so cute, who wouldn't want to spend more time with him? After thinking about this, Qian Runshui directly crossed her arms across her chest, looked at Bibi Dong with a calm expression, and said calmly, Senior sister, I don't know why you are so anxious to pull me here. You probably think that I have killed Brother Su Miu. Bibi Dong was also suffering at this time, and she couldn't blame her entirely. The scene at that time, coupled with the position of the two of them, the scattered clothes on the ground, and Su Emu's innocent eyes. She was immediately dominated by anger and did not think carefully. Now, Bibi Dong couldn't explain anything. After all, it had already happened. She had indeed wrongly blamed Qian Runshui, so she had no choice but to admit her mistake first. Shui, I'm sorry, senior sister wrongly blamed you. When Qian Runshui heard Bibi Dong's words, she looked arrogant and pretended to be still angry. HMPH, senior sister, am I that kind of person? You actually look at me like this. How are you going to compensate me this time? Bibi Dong didn't expect Qian Runshui to say that, but thinking that it was her fault, she had no choice but to follow Qian Runshui's intention and ask. Shui, whatever you want, senior sister will definitely agree to it if she can do it. Hearing Bibi Dong's words, Qian Runshui felt happy knowing that her plan was about to succeed, but there was still no change on the surface. How about senior sister asking brother Su Miu to sleep with me? If senior sister agrees, I will forgive you and promise not to tell brother Su Miu. No, before Qian Runshui finished speaking, Bibi Dong directly refused. When she thought of Su Emu's cute cheeks, Bibi Dong felt her body begin to heat up. She hadn't slept with Su Emu's brother yet, how could she just leave it to someone else, Bibi Dong thought in her mind. Qian Runshui did not expect Bibi Dong's attitude to be so firm, but when she thought of what Su Miu did today and what she said to herself, Qian Runshui snorted coldly. Senior sister, you don't want brother Su Miu to know that you are such a dirty-minded person, right? When Bibi Dong heard this, he hesitated a little. When he thought about his image collapsing in Su Emu's heart, Bibi Dong felt difficulty breathing. Qian Runshui saw the struggle on Bibi Dong's face and knew that her method was right. She immediately struck while the iron was hot and said, How about this, senior sister, you lend me brother Su Miu for a month first. During this month, he will sleep with me at night. As for how about we discuss it after a month? Qian Runshui said seductively to Bibi Dong, No, one month is too long. One week, at most one week. After one week, I can let him take turns sleeping with us. This is my biggest concession. Bibi Dong made a concession. Make a deal. Qian Runshui is also very satisfied with the result. At least this week, Su Emu's younger brother is hers. On this side, the two successfully reached a consensus. Bibi Dong took out some clothes from the cabinet on the side. Here, these are what I asked for from my servants yesterday. They are brother Su Emu's sizes. You can bring some over so he doesn't have to change his clothes. Qian Runshui reached out and took the clothes, and then the two of them held some clothes each, left Bibi Dong's room, and walked towards Qian Runshui's room. On the other side, Qian Runshui's room. Just after the two women left, Su Miu started to check the system with some excitement. System, view panel, host, Su Miu, sex, male, age, five years old. Magic level, 0, magic value, 52 one hundredths, physique, succubus body, succubus body, a special physique, people with this physique will unconsciously attract the opposite sex around them, and with continuous contact with you, they will gradually become obsessed with you, and finally can't live without you.
Martial Spirit. Xuanyuan's Sword. Backpack. Random Teleport Talisman Times 3. Titled Duluo Experience Card Times 1. Soon you looked at the system panel and became even more excited. Unexpectedly, in just one day, he had 52 magic points, although most of them were obtained when Bibi Dong almost suffocated himself to death in that formation. However, it is still very easy to obtain magic points. As long as you stick with Qian Runshui or Bibi Dong more in the future, you can also accumulate enough magic points, and you should be able to upgrade to the next level soon. More importantly, when you upgrade to the next level, you will gain an ability. Su Mu is mainly interested in this. I don't know what kind of ability the system will give me. Suddenly, Su Mu seemed to have thought of something and asked. System, normally speaking, my succubus physique is, well, a little bit evil, but the Xuanyuan sword, a martial soul rewarded by the system, seems to be on the righteous side. Won't this be restrained? Host, please rest assured that the system will not harm the host. As the saying goes, all things are mutually reinforcing and restraining each other. If there is no bottom, there will be no top. If there is no low, there will be no high. If there is no bitterness, there will be no sweetness. Therefore, there are no absolute opposites in the world, and both opposite parties can transform into each other. So not only does the Xuanyuan sword not harm the host, but sometimes the Xuanyuan sword becomes more powerful because of the host's physique. Su Mu also understood after listening to the system's explanation. This is just like there is no absolute good or absolute evil in the world. For example, if you use Xuanyuan's sword to kill bad guys, it is naturally good. But what if someone takes the Xuanyuan's sword to kill good people? Is that good or evil? Therefore, we cannot use one standard to measure things, but should consider many aspects. In addition, although he is now in the body of a succubus, he is still essentially human, and this Xuanyuan sword is not the real Xuanyuan sword, but his martial soul. After Su Mu figured this out, he no longer worried. Click. As the door opened, Bibi Dong and Qian Runshui walked in. Su Mu looked a little confused when she saw that both of them had a lot of clothes in their hands. Bibi Dong looked at Su Mu's doubtful eyes, which were so cute, and the love in her heart became even stronger. She smiled sweetly and took the initiative to explain. Little Su Mu, Sister Bibi Dong has something to do these days and may not be able to take care of you. You will stay with Sister Qian Runshui for a few days. These are the clothes I have prepared for you in advance. Su Mu nodded after hearing this. Bibi Dong walked into the bedroom and handed Su Mu a set of clothes, then turned and walked out of the bedroom, closing the door. Soon, Su Mu changed her clothes and walked out. Looking at Su Emu's well-behaved and delicate appearance, Bibi Dong felt something strange in her body. She couldn't help but tighten her legs and her breathing became rapid. Qian Runshui stood next to Bibi Dong and also noticed something strange about Bibi Dong. Although the two of them were unyielding in their fight for Su Mu, in fact, Qian Runshui still cared about her senior sister. Qian Runshui quickly asked with concern, Senior sister, what's wrong with you? Are you feeling uncomfortable somewhere? Bibi Dong quickly adjusted herself and pretended to be calm and said. It's okay. Let's go. It's time to have dinner. Su Mu and Qian Runshui played all day long and had lunch casually. Although Bibi Dong tried her best to suppress herself, her voice still trembled a little, but fortunately Qian Runshui didn't notice it. After saying that, Bibi Dong opened her long black legs and walked outside. Qian Runshui didn't pay too much attention. She turned around and stretched out her hand to hold Su Mu, following Bibi Dong closely. The two women took Su Mu to the restaurant again. Su Mu found that this time there was already one person sitting in the restaurant. This person has a slender figure and skin as white as snow, like a fairy. Her blonde hair shone dazzlingly in the sun, as if a golden waterfall poured down from her head. Her eyes were bright and piercing like two gems set in her face, emitting a charming light. The upper body is wearing a pink vest, revealing the snow-white slender waist, the lower body is a pair of ultra-short pink hot pants, and a pair of slender legs are as gentle as jade and as smooth as snow, like a perfect work of art. Can't find the slightest flaw. What makes Su Mu even more tempted is that Bai Nu seems to have a natural charm that makes people unable to help but be fascinated. Hu Liena, 
For some reason, this name suddenly flashed in Su Emu's mind. He was familiar with the original Duluo novels and was very familiar with the characters, especially the female characters. As expected, Bibi Dong's next actions confirmed Su Emu's suspicion. Bibi Dong looked at the people sitting at the dining table with an expression of surprise on her face. Nur, you are finally willing to let go. Qian Runshui curled her lips, said nothing, and directly pulled Su Mu to sit down. Qian Runshui thoughtfully helped Su Mu serve the rice, while information about Hu Liena emerged in Su Emu's mind. Hu Liena, in the original work, after Bibi Dong became the Pope, as a disciple of Bibi Dong, she became the saint of Wuhun Temple. Wuhun is a demon fox with extremely powerful charm ability. Her soul skills are all based on charm. Received special charm training. After Bibi Dong and Hu Liena said something, Bibi Dong led Hu Liena over. Little Su Mu, let me introduce to you. This is Hu Liena, the most outstanding disciple of this generation in Wuhun Hall. Su Mu blinked her big eyes, nodded, and said in a sweet voice. Hello, Sister Nur. My name is Su Mu. I was picked up by Sister Donger. At this time, Bibi Dong had not yet become Hu Liena's master, but Bibi Dong took great care of Hu Liena. Just now Bibi Dong said that he would bring her to meet a very cute little brother, but Hu Liena was a little reluctant at first. Because in Hu Liena's view, this is a waste of time. If you have that time, you might as well practice more. However, now that she saw Su Mu and heard his milky voice, Hu Liena felt that her heart was about to melt. How could there be such a cute child? Hu Liena smiled from the bottom of her heart, bent slightly, stretched out her hand, and touched Su Emu's baby fat little face. Ding! Close contact between the host and Hu Liena is detected, and the magic value is increased by one. How about you too, little brother? A slightly hoarse voice sounded from Hu Liena's mouth, full of charm. Bibi Dong whispered to Qian Runshui at the side. I haven't seen Nur so happy for a long time. Qian Runshui curled her lips, but still replied. Indeed, usually she is either practicing or on the road of cultivation. Qian Runshui and Hu Liena are of the same generation. Hu Liena is obsessed with practicing, while Qian Runshui doesn't like practicing very much, so Qian Runshui can't stand Hu Liena. Several people sat together and had a meal. After dinner, Bibi Dong suggested taking a walk in the park. Listening to Bibi Dong's words, Hu Liena's beautiful face showed a trace of hesitation. According to her personality, she should make full use of her time and go back to practice directly. But for some reason, as soon as she saw Su Emu's cute little face, Hu Liena felt a desire to stay with him. Two little angels appeared in Hu Liena's mind. The little angel on the left said, It doesn't matter, it's just once, and it won't have much impact. And look, Brother Su Mu is so cute, don't you want to spend more time with him? The little angel on the right retorted directly, No, cultivation is the most important thing. As long as this kind of thing happens once, it will happen countless times. You can't start it like this. The two little angels kept arguing, and Hu Liena became even more confused. At this time, Su Mu also discovered Hu Liena's entanglement. Bibi Dong gave Su Mu a look, and Su Mu understood instantly. Su Mu walked up to Hu Liena, stretched out her small hands, took Hu Liena's jade arms, shook them constantly, and said a little coquettishly. Sister Nur, just stay with us for a while. Let's go for a walk together, okay? Please Sister Nur, Sister Nur is the best. Hu Liena looked at the coquettish Su Mu. The little angel on the right disappeared, leaving only the little angel on the left, still whispering in her ear. Yes. That's it, look how cute he is. Go ahead and spend some time with him. Hu Liena stretched out her hand, touched Su Emu's head, and said softly. Okay, listen to brother Su Mu. Looking at this scene, Bibi Dong also smiled and echoed. Nur, let me tell you, you can't just practice every day, you must pay attention to the balance between work and rest. Qian Runshui on the side was a little unhappy. At first glance, this woman had ulterior motives for her brother Su Mu, and she was another bad woman. Hu Liena listened to Bibi Dong's words and smiled slightly without saying anything. Bibi Dong had persuaded her many times before, but Hu Liena did not change. But this time, Hu Liena lowered her head and looked at Su Mu, 
who was blinking her big eyes, and her belief was shaken a little. Su Miu held Hu Liena with her right hand and walked towards the park. Sister Nair, Sister Shui, Sister Donger, let's go. Hearing Su Emu's voice, Qian Runshui and Bibi Dong quickly agreed and followed. In this way, the three women led Su Miu towards the park. On Su Emu's left was Bibi Dong and on the right was Hu Liena. Qian Runshui looked at Su Miu being pulled by the two women, and a trace of sadness flashed in her heart. However, she was secretly happy when she thought that she could sleep with this little cutie tonight. Sister Nair, are you practicing every day? Yeah, that's right. But wouldn't it be boring to practice all the time? No, as long as you have dreams, you won't feel boring. Then what is Sister Nair's dream? You are too young, I can't tell you this. Su Miu was a little depressed. Oh fine, Hu Liena didn't know why, but looking at Su Emu's depressed expression, she felt very heartbroken, as if she had done something to feel sorry for Su Miu. Hu Liena took a deep breath, as if she had made an important decision. I saw Hu Liena looking at Su Miu, and a seductive hoarse voice sounded in Su Emu's ears. Little Su Miu, sister has a good thing. Do you want to see it? After hearing Bian, Su Emu's depressed expression disappeared, and she looked at Hu Liena with curious eyes. I wonder if Sister Nair has any good things, let's show them to Su Miu. Hu Liena looked at Su Miu, who was changing so quickly, and thought to herself, he is indeed a child, and his mood changes very quickly. Then, can Su Miu agree to a condition for my sister? Su Miu hesitated a little. Hu Liena continued to seduce. Don't worry, it's a very simple thing. Su Miu can definitely do it. What's that? Su Miu sleeps at sister's place tonight, okay. After listening to Hu Liena's words, Su Miu hadn't spoken yet, but Qian Runshui, who was sitting beside her, stopped talking. No, I don't agree. Hu Liena's eyes turned cold, she looked at Qian Runshui and said coldly. I'm talking to brother Su Miu, what does it have to do with you? Qian Runshui suddenly became anxious, stood up, looked at Hu Liena, and said word by word. I won't do it if I say no, Su Miu wants to sleep with me tonight. Hu Liena smiled disdainfully, who said that, it should not be up to you to decide who Su Miu sleeps with, but up to him. After speaking, Hu Liena looked at Su Miu with gentle eyes and asked in a hoarse voice. Brother Su Miu, tell yourself, which sister do you want to sleep with today? Su Miu was confused, why did this question come to me? Su Miu actually really wanted to say something now, why don't we sleep together? At this time, Bibi Dong also stood up. Okay, you all, stop arguing and just listen to me. This week Su Miu will sleep with Qian Runshui first, and next week he will sleep with Hu Liena. That's okay. Qian Runshui said nothing, probably in acquiescence. When Hu Liena saw Bibi Dong speaking, she thought that Bibi Dong usually took more care of her so she did not object again. In this way, in just a short period of time, Su Emu's sleeping arrangements for half a month were decided. Seeing that the matter was resolved, Su Miu silently breathed a sigh of relief. Then Su Miu remembered the good things Hu Liena was going to show him just now, so he stepped forward and pulled Hu Liena and asked curiously, Sister Nair, what is the good thing you want to show me? Su Miu wants to see it. Hu Liena bent down stretched out her hand and touched Su Emu's head. Hu Liena was unprepared for Su Miu, and Hu Liena was wearing very little. When she bent down like this, Su Miu could see everything at a glance. So big and so white. This was Su Emu's first feeling. Such a scene brought a huge shock to his young mind. Although it was not as majestic as Bibi Dong, it was better than Bibi Dong's because of its petite size and unlimited potential. Hu Liena didn't notice anything unusual about Su Miu. After touching Su Miu, Hu Liena straightened up and shouted. Martial spirit, fox demon. A faint smile appeared on her face. With the release of her martial spirit, Hu Liena seemed to become more beautiful, and a big fluffy tail grew from her back, making her look even more charming. Two soul rings lit up on his body, both yellow, but one was darker and the other lighter. Hu Liena smiled at Su Miu. At that moment, Su Miu was stunned. Seeing this, Qian Runshui on the side also stepped forward, woke up Su Miu, and at the same time asked Hu Liena angrily. Su Miu is still a child, 
how can you use martial arts on him? Don't you know how strong your martial soul's charm ability is? Hu Liena also knew that this time it was her fault, so she did not refute, but silently withdrew her light red light. Hu Liena walked to Su Mu apologetically, her tail wagging behind her constantly, but the charm on her body had disappeared. Brother Su Mu, I'm sorry, my sister forgot to put away her charm just now. Are you okay? Su Mu also recovered at this time, and thought to himself that he was indeed a fox demon. One look at it would make people addicted and unable to extricate themselves. Sister Nur, I'm fine, you don't have to be like this. After hearing Su Mu's words, Huliena breathed a sigh of relief and continued. Brother Su Mu, do you think my sister's tail is cute? When Su Mu heard this, his eyes were fixed on the tail behind Huliena. Huliena's tail was seen swinging constantly on her back, like a dexterous paintbrush, always drawing a gorgeous arc in the air. Its hair is soft and thick, exuding a warm luster. Sometimes the tail is raised gently, sometimes it is quickly erected, which is very spiritual. The tail is overall pink, with a faint golden light on it, and the white fur tip at the end of the tail is like the finishing touch, adding a playful and cute touch to the entire tail. Su Mu couldn't help but be fascinated by it. Hu Liena smiled softly, and her slightly hoarse voice sounded in Su Mu's ears. Brother Su Mu, do you want to, touch it? Su Mu listened to Hu Liena's hoarse voice, her eyes still lingering on the fox's tail, and nodded subconsciously. Hu Liena smiled sweetly, looking even more charming. Then let me let you touch me, sister. As she spoke, Hu Liena controlled her tail to move forward floating between the two of them. Su Mu became even more excited. Sister Nair, is it really okay? Of course, but you have to be gentle. After all, it's your first time. Sister is afraid of pain. Okay, I will be more careful, sister, don't worry. Su Mu stretched out her hand and touched the fluffy fox tail in front of her. Warm, hot, and very smooth. This was Su Mu's first feeling. It was very comfortable and it also had a fluffy feeling, as if stroking silk, which made people put it down. Su Mu focused her eyes on the tail in front of her, caressing it carefully. He didn't notice Hu Liena's expression at this time. The moment Su Mu touched the tail, Hu Liena's body trembled slightly, her face quickly turned red, and her breathing began to quicken. But Hu Liena gritted her teeth tightly, not making a sound, and tried her best to control her tail from moving. No one knew that Huliena's tail before she released her soul skills was the most sensitive part of her body. She never let anyone touch her, not even herself. She didn't know why she let Su Mu touch it today. Originally, she just wanted to let Su Mu take a look. But after summoning the martial spirit and seeing Su Mu's eager eyes, Huliena changed her mind and took the initiative to send it to Su Mu that no one had touched. At this moment, Huliena felt that her body began to become abnormal, her whole body trembled slightly, her body began to heat up, her earlobes became red, and her legs could not help but tighten. Su Mu was focusing on the tail in front of him at this time, and did not notice Huliena's abnormality, but there were two other women beside them. Both Bibi Dong and Qian Runshui noticed Huliena's abnormality. Looking at this scene, Bibi Dong unconsciously recalled the scene in Qian Runshui's room where she hugged Su Mu out of excitement. She thought of the feeling of close contact between her waves and Su Mu, and her face became a little rosy. Qian Runshui remembered the scene this afternoon when she was buried on Su Mu's shoulder and he patted her back with his small hands, and her face turned a little red. Su Mu stroked the furry tail in front of her. The more she touched it, the more addictive it became. At this time, Su Mu suddenly remembered the sound of the system. Ding! Close contact between the host and Huliena was detected. Increase the magic value by 5. Ding! Congratulations to the host for getting the purple gift bag times 1. Um! A big question flashed through Su Mu's mind. Was this considered an intimate contact? Did you get a gift package? Then I hugged Qian Runshui this afternoon, but I haven't received the gift package yet. What's going on? Su Mu stopped moving because he was thinking about the problem. Hu Liena was about to reach her limit at this time. When she saw Su Mu's movement stopped, she quickly released the martial spirit summons. By the time Su Mu reacted, Hu Liena's tail had disappeared. 
After Huliena lifted the martial spirit summons, her face turned red and she took a big breath of fresh air. Seeing this, Su Mu quickly expressed concern. Sister Nair, what's wrong with you? Did I hurt you? Huliena waved her hand and said in a hoarse voice than before. No, it's because my tail is too sensitive, and you are the first person to touch my tail, so you are a little uncomfortable with it. Su Mu seemed to understand something after listening to Huliena's words. It turns out that the kind of close contact that the system refers to as rewarding gift packs sometimes depends not only on how close you are to the other person, but also on the other person's sensitivity. For example, Bibi Dong kissed herself and received a gift bag. This was because this action was very intimate, and Bibi Dong was also very sensitive to kissing. Qian Runshui hugged herself, but she did not receive a gift package, which showed that for Qian Runshui, the hug was not very private and did not reach a certain level of intimacy. He just touched Huliena's tail and got a gift package. If nothing else, the tail should be one of Huliena's most sensitive parts. After understanding this, Su Mu suddenly felt enlightened and had more ideas for future plans. After that, several people left the garden, and Su Mu was naturally led away by Qian Runshui. Su Mu followed Qian Runshui nervously and returned to her boudoir. Although this was not his first time, Su Mu still felt a little nervous for some reason. After all, in his last life, he was an innocent little virgin who had never even touched a girl's hand. After returning to the room, Su Mu sat on the bed a little awkwardly. Qian Runshui did not go to bed directly, but walked to Su Mu and blew a gentle breath of hot air into Su Mu's ear. Little brother Su Mu, should you take a shower first? Or should I take a shower first, or should we take a shower together? Su Mu got out of bed and ran into the bathroom. As she ran, she said, Sister Shui, I'd better take a shower first. Qian Runshui originally wanted to tease Su Mu, but she didn't expect that Su Mu couldn't help teasing her. With a gentle smile, Qian Runshui shouted towards the bathroom, Brother Su Mu, would you like sister to help you take a bath? No. No need. Su Mu stuttered a bit and replied, What a cute little brother. After a while, Su Mu came out wrapped in a bath towel. Because the bath towel was too big, it dragged all over her body. Qian Runshui looked at Su Mu who had just taken a shower. Her face was red, there were still water droplets on her hair that had not been wiped off, and her whole person looked polished. Qian Runshui's eyes fell on Su Mu's pink mouth for some reason, and she swallowed unconsciously. Su Mu had already walked to the bed. When she saw Qian Runshui seemed to be stunned, she reached out and pushed Qian Runshui. Sister Shui, I've finished washing, it's your turn. Qian Runshui came back to her senses, temporarily suppressed her desires, got up, found a set of pajamas from the closet, and walked into the bathroom. Su Mu sat there, listening to the constant sound of water in the bathroom, and muttered silently. System, view panel, host. Su Mu, sex, male, age, five years old, magic level, zero, magic value, 89 one hundredths, physique, succubus body, martial spirit, Xuanyuan sword, backpack, random teleport talisman times three, titled Duluo experience card times one, purple gift bag times one. The magic value has reached 89 points, mainly because of the stroking of Huliena's tail at night which added a lot of magic value. Open the purple gift bag. Congratulations to the host for getting. Congratulations to the host for achieving level 20 innate soul power. Um, a big question mark appeared on Su Emu's head again. What is my current situation? I haven't awakened my martial soul, but because of the system, I already have a martial soul, and now I'm rewarded with soul power. So is he considered a soul master now? Can you practice? but I didn't feel any changes in my body. Host, please check the panel. The host will understand after examining the panel. The system appeared at the right time and reminded Su Mu. Su Mu checked the system again and found that there was an extra column soul power level on the system panel. Soul power level. 20 innate full soul power band. Looking at this column, Su Mu immediately understood what the system said. It turns out that the system has blocked the rewarded soul power. Not only can Su Mu not be able to sense it, 
but no one else can detect it, not even a title Duluo. Although the system has banned the host's soul power, the soul power will still warm the host's meridians and nourish the host's physical growth. Please rest assured. Just as Su Mu was opening the gift bag and communicating with the system, Qian Runshui had already walked out of the bathroom wearing silk pajamas. Qian Runshui's hair is long and straight, not tied up. The golden hair is spread over her shoulders, looking particularly elegant and charming. There are even water droplets rolling on her hair, making her look even more playful and cute. He has an oval face, and his skin is as white as jade. Because he just took a shower, it exudes a normal warm blood color. Under his beautiful eyebrows is a pair of eyes full of spirituality. A pair of long legs were just exposed in the air, accounting for almost half of the height. Su Mu was still sitting by the bed, her whole body a little stiff. Qian Runshui looked at the somewhat reserved Su Mu, smiled sweetly, and walked to Su Mu's side. Su Mu could already smell the faint fragrance coming from Qian Runshui's body. This fragrance was difficult to describe. It was mixed with the fragrance of flowers and the body fragrance of a girl. It smelled very good. Qian Runshui stretched out her jade hand and stroked Su Mu's hair. Su Mu only felt her eyes light up, a little dazzling. Qian Runshui's whole body was exuding golden light, which was very dazzling. At the same time, Su Mu felt Qian Runshui's hand on her head began to heat up. After a while, the light disappeared, and Su Mu found that her hair was dry. Qian Runshui's wet hair also became dry, probably because of the evaporation of water vapor, and Su Mu suddenly found that the fragrance was stronger. After Qian Runshui used her soul power to dry Su Mu's hair, she did not take back her jade hand. Qian Runshui's delicate hands went down directly and began to rub Su Mu's baby face. Su Mu could only suffer in silence. After Qian Runshui had enough fun, she hugged Su Mu and came to the bed. Sister Shui, do you have my pajamas? I'm wearing a bath towel. I might open it later. Qian Runshui glanced at the little Su Mu wrapped in a big bath towel and smiled lightly. Senior sister didn't give me your pajamas. If brother Su Mu had to make do with it, it would be uncomfortable to sleep with your clothes on. In desperation, Su Mu had no choice but to agree. Soon, the two of them were lying on the bed. Su Mu got into the quilt a little shyly. Seeing this, Qian Runshui also lifted the quilt and got in. After a while, Qian Runshui fell asleep, while Su Mu's eyes were still wide open, not feeling sleepy at all. Just when Su Mu wanted to turn around and change his position, a pair of jade arms suddenly stretched out from behind him and hugged him tightly. Then a hot and delicate body pressed against him, and Su Mu didn't dare to move for a moment. Su Mu couldn't sleep anymore, but Su Mu didn't dare to move for fear of waking Qian Runshui. Su Mu just lay like this, not daring to move, letting Qian Runshui's arms wrap around her. Ding! It is detected that the host is in close contact with Qian Runshui, and the magic value is increased by one. Although Su Mu was in pain, listening to the sound of the magic value in his ears increasing by one every once in a while, Su Mu felt that it was not painful at all. Could this be the legendary pain and happiness? Originally, Su Mu thought this was enough suffering, but she didn't expect that after a while, Qian Runshui made another move. This time, Qian Runshui directly used Su Mu as a pillow, her whole body pressed against Su Mu's body, and her legs tightly clamped Su Mu's waist. She even pushed Su Mu's head into her waves, and Su Mu quickly began to struggle. Not sure whether it was because of Su Mu's struggle or because Su Mu's strong hair touched Qian Runshui's softness, Qian Runshui finally gave up on stuffing Su Mu's head into her waves. Just like that, Poor Su Mu was used as a pillow by Qian Runshui and held tightly in her arms. Su Mu was in a very embarrassing situation at this time. Judging from the touch of her skin, Qian Runshui should only be wearing a pair of silk pajamas, which were all vacuum. Su Mu's upper body was tightly held by Qian Runshui's arms, and her lower body was tightly clamped by Qian Runshui's long and alluring legs. Her head touched Qian Runshui's softness from time to time. In contrast, Su Mu couldn't sleep even more. Su Mu now just wants to grow up quickly, and then control herself and everything, hehehehehe. <laughs> Su Mu thought again that he was only five years old now, 
and it would be quite some time before he reached adulthood, and couldn't help but sigh. Suddenly, Su Miu thought of something, and her eyes became bright again. This was Duluo continent, not the world of his previous life. But he remembered that soul masters grew up earlier because of the nourishment of soul power. If he remembered correctly, in the original work, Mahong Jun and Dai Mubai went out to listen to music in Gulen when they were in their early teens. And now that I already have soul power in my body, doesn't it mean that I will grow up earlier? Thinking of this, Su Miu became excited, thinking of Xi'an Runshui, Bibi Dong, Huliena, whom she had seen today, and Ning Rongrong, Xiao Wu and other beauties from the Duluo continent whom she had never seen before. Su Miu fell asleep in his fantasy. Comma, the next morning, sunlight shines into Qian Runshui's boudoir through the cracks in the window. Light up the scene in the room. Qian Runshui's whole body was pressed against Su Miu, her legs were still tightly clamped around Su Emu's waist, and her hands were holding Su Emu's head. Three thousand black hair completely covered Su Miu. As for Su Miu under Qian Runshui, she was still asleep at this time because she went to bed late last night. Su Miu seemed to have had a dream. In the dream, he dominated Dulu continent, and everyone obeyed his orders. He settled in the center of the Stardo forest with many beauties, and lived a life without shame or impatience every day. When he woke up one morning, he found himself in a mist-shrouded forest, with trees rising from the ground like giants and vines weaving a mysterious path beneath his feet. The sound of birds chirping and leaves rubbing against each other can be heard in the distance, giving people a dreamy and peaceful feeling. But suddenly everything changed, the trees transformed into strange shapes and the path turned into a muddy swamp that clung to his legs. Su Miu struggled with all his strength, but it had no effect. In the end, he sank into the swamp. He felt as if an invisible hand was tightly strangling his throat, making it extremely difficult to breathe. The air seemed to be frozen deep in his throat. He breathed in desperately, but every breath of air seemed to be trapped by steel, unable to enter his lungs smoothly. At this moment, Su Miu suddenly woke up. Thanks for watching.